And Jesus, the Son, is separated from the Father as he experiences spiritual death to pay for the sins of the world. Physical death is not enough to pay for sin. There had to be a spiritual death, a separation from God, in which the sins of the world were laid on Jesus. However, had Jesus died physically while he is spiritually dead, then the same thing would happen to him that happens to all unbelievers, and that is he would spend eternity in hell. So it was essential for God to restore the relationship with Jesus physically, uh, spiritually rather, before he dies physically. Because physical death seals your spiritual eternity. And so Jesus is saying, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Where are you, God, at the end of this three hours? And then he cries out, the Telestai is finished because God removed the cup from him that he prayed for. And when he removed the cup, he restores the relationship. And now Jesus says, Father, into your hands, I give my spirit. And he bowed his head and he gave up his spirit. That's why when the soldiers came to break the legs, they didn't break his legs because he's already dead. They were amazed that he was already dead. The reason he's already dead was because once the spiritual death has been provided and sin has been provided for, now Jesus can lay down his life and he's out there. He doesn't need to suffer anymore. The physical suffering doesn't do anything. But it was a part of the realistic and the real nature of Jesus' death. 